I'll just take a water. Okay. We have Pellegrino, Perrier, Aquapana, Voss. I'll, I'll just take tap. The Aquapana is the best. Okay, I'll have that. Okay. Hello, Poppy. Congratulations to you. This is an amazing piece of work you have here. Well deserved on winning the 11 Second Club. Uh, my name is Keith Sinte. I'm a professional character animator. I'm currently working at Industrial Light and Magic. I started out as a traditional animation artist at Disney Feature Animation on uh, way back on films where we used to use pencils and papers. And um, I worked on Pocahontas, Hunchback, Mulan, Tarzan. Uh, eventually made my way into the world of digital animation when I was at DreamWorks. Um, and then eventually when I was at uh, Sony Pictures Animation, I worked on uh, their first all animated digital film, CG film, which was open season. And then I worked on Surf's Up and then eventually made my world my way into the world of visual effects. I've worked on uh, many different projects, the Transformers movies, uh, Marvel films, uh, Iron Man, the Avengers. Um, most recently, I've worked on uh, Loki and um, uh, yeah, the Star Wars films. I'm a, I'm a massive Star Wars fan, so that was, that was huge for me. Anyway, um, I'm thrilled to be able to look at your work here and give you my thoughts. So let's dig in and take a look. Like I said, this is great. Actually, I normally don't do this for the 11 Second Club uh, winners. So I don't have a whole lot of time, but I went to your website and I was so impressed with your work. And you're a modeler and, and just fantastic all, all around stuff. I'll just take a water. Okay. We have Pellegrino, Perrier, Aquapana, Voss. I'll, I'll just take tap. The Aquapana is the best. Okay, I'll have that. Okay. I guess the Aquapana. Is it Aquafana? Aquaf I thought it was Aquafina. Anyways, that was throwing me a little bit on whether she's saying Aquapana. It sounds like Aquapana, but it might be Aquafina, which is Aquafana in this. So I think you made the right call by making it an F. Um, so let's just dig right in here. The uh, the animation is... I'll just take a water. Okay. We have Pellegrino. It's so beautifully staged. Uh, your camera angles are nice. I like the setting that you, you put them in. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there's just so many good things to gush about on this project. No, Perrier, Aquapana, Voss. I'll, I'll just take tap. The Aquapana is the best. Okay, I'll have that. The little eye dart she does here when she says, Aquapana is the best. And then, boop, her eye does that little subtle eye look up. It's, that's a really nice little touch. You have um, this little bit on her hair moving, which I think is great and you animated the tie going through so all that overlap is, is fun I think um, by the way I'm looking down because I have my uh, my Cintiq here so don't mind me doing that um, there was a, a thing you did here within the acting where she takes the pencil kind of puts it against her chin when she's thinking I thought that was a really cute touch too I'll just take a water. Okay. We have Pellegrino, Perrier, Aquapana, Vo I'm watching her fingers too okay. as they adjust underneath the pad. And that's a great detail that you looked at. If we watch those fingers there. Okay. We have Pellegrino, Perrier, Aquapana, Voss. I'll, I'll just take tap. The Aquapana is the best. Is it, is it really the best? Um, okay, so <clears throat> I'll just kind of move through this and jump around here and there but like I said there's there's a whole lot of greatness in this <clears throat> so the waitress's eyes when she looks up to the side you can pull that pupil out a little bit from behind the nose if you're just using and forgive me if this is stuff you already knew but this is for anyone else that might be out there watching um, if you're just using the eye look at a lot of times that pupil if you go to one side or the other will, will pull on the far side so you have to take the uh, the other two controllers and offset it a bit and then blend it back in. You don't want to make it obvious, but anyway, this uh, so this pupil would be out a little bit further there and not get so buried. It happens a couple times. She does better on this side. All of this is great. 
and you and you kept a nice little sliver here of the pupil or the cornea. Wapana vos. Oh. It's nice. I'll just take tap. The aquapana is an aquapai. <clears throat> so this eye dart is nice, and I and you know I think it's in a good place, but it's right now it's popping a great distance over from one frame to the next. So instead of that, what what we like to do is have it third out of the key and then pop in. In other words, it would be here, and then a third favoring that, and then over here. You'll still get the same feeling of a pop, but it'll be cushioned a little bit better. Slow up to a pop. So whenever you do like eye dart, unless they're really small saccadic movements, for an eye dart you want to have that that third out and then pop. Big tap. The aquapana is the best. Okay, I'll have that. <laughs> um, at the end here, I drew this this position in here for you. Um, I felt like this pose wasn't as strong as some of your other ones on this girl that's seated here. Uh, if you go back to like this one, there's a rhythm that you have in the body where the, the head is sort of tilted one way and the body kind of not necessarily counters against it but works against it which is nice. So when you get to even even this one right there. Whereas if you look at the one that I did the drawing on, um, I think I can whoops, skip to it. Is it this one? Think. Uh, let me just go a frame away. What it's looking like right now is that this is sort of angled this way. If you look at her shoulders, it's sort of angled this way. Her mouth is. Everything is along this parallel. Not that my lines are parallel, but along the parallel line, there's no countering in it. There's no rhythm to it. So it, it ends up just feeling flat and and a little bit stiff. Everything's kind of leaned off to one side in a way that isn't quite as peeling as some of your other poses. So what I would suggest is, and what I drew in here is, um, so her head, the tilt is is fine. It would be adjusting the body so you counter against it, like kind of like your other ones, where you're not quite on the same angle. And then I kind of drew these in here to represent the torso. So it feels like the torso is kind of going this way and the head is going this way. So it's kind of a kind of a contra pasta spaghetti thing, um, contra pasta thing with the uh, with the body, if that makes sense. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get rid of these drawings. Alright. I'll just take a water. Okay. We have been So her mouth is a little bit poppy in a couple places, the waitress here. Um, you want to be careful and just keep in mind when you're animating lip sync that you're also paying attention to the corners of the mouth as if they were any other part of the body where you're thinking about arcs and reversals and how they're zigzagging in and out. You don't necessarily want them to zigzag. You want them to be more flowing like your S curves and your figure eights and C's and all that sort of shapes as you're describing arcs with the mouth. So that being said, your arcs are I think your arcs of the corners are, are nice. If you just like look at this one. Hello. There we go. And then it sort of comes up here, up to this. But then it's coming down, which is fine. But here here's where you could take advantage of bring them arc up around, slightly up. So in other words, you're describing this shape instead of a seven. Backward seven, I guess. Okay, so, but when you go to this shape right here. I think this just gets a little bit poppy. I'm going to turn on the uh, ability to scrub. If I can get my wires out the way. Uh, this one? Oops. Okay. Oh, 
Yeah. Okay, so just a few places. I'm just going to mark them out here. Here to here is good, but then this this is a little bit too much of a draft. I would read in between it. Maybe it's because the upload gives you this frame and this frame are right on top of each other. Just make sure that this is kind of smoothly going down into your ooh shape and not quickly popping into it. <clears throat> okay, we have Pellegrino, Perrier, Aquapana, Voss. Oh. This Ross, or whatever she says, is great. I love your mouth shapes here. It's almost like a little, um, and this little sort of, uh, I don't even want to call it a sneer, but you're bringing this up in a way that's Ross. It's giving personality, which is fantastic. I'll just take tap. The Aquapana is the best. Here's where you kind of lose me a little bit. Is on the aquafana or pana aquafana is the best. Oh, here's another one of those pupils you could bring out a little bit. Um, the aquafana. You're not taking advantage of the shapes that you could as much. Fa. So in this a, ah, just bring down the corners a little bit, so you get a little bit of this wide shape down to the ah so it's like almost like the jaw is pulling the corners of the mouth a little bit <clears throat> and then back up into your fan and then the na here i think you could do sort of that aqua fa um a little asymmetry a little bit more than you have in the mouth. I like that you have some asymmetry in the brows. It's great. Pana is the best. When she's saying the best, your uh, lip syncs are just a teeny bit off there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pana is. Here she's saying the, but you're already in your B on best is the, I think this is the, here's your TH, the, the, here's your E again. then now you're coming up into the B, B, and then opening up into your E. The aquapana is the best. And actually your E and best can be bigger. It is the bat eh. So let's open this bigger. Maybe not as big as I drew it there. I didn't want it to be gigantic mouth, but... A little bit bigger than you have here. And then your S, your S, either bring the tongue up. I don't want her to have a lisp so much, but you can bring the uh, best, bring the teeth together here for your S. Best. A little sooner than you have it. it looks like you kind of do here, but you're a little late on bringing the teeth together. The aquapana is the best. Okay, I'll have that. Okay. Cool. I love the shrug. Did a great job controlling the uh, what it feels like to have you know the elbows this close to the body with the shrug. Some people have a tendency to bring them out too far, but you did a really nice job there. Okay, so the okay. Yeah, I think you could linger a little longer on the on the A and K. Okay. Oh, she says oh, okay. I guess uh. So here, little little open. Uh. 
Yeah, this this definitely needed this this shape should be a little more open, like oh uh and right into the k. It's good. Okay. Getting a little quick um, to close it. I would let this breathe a little bit. Open. Open. Oh, probably even here. Open. Open. Yeah, don't go into your closed mouth smile so soon. Um, if you need to add a couple frames to the end of this shot to get her into that, if you wanted to to relax out of there, but she definitely needs to have her mouth open a little bit, a few frames longer. I'll just take a water. Okay. I think the other girl's lip sync. I'll just take a water. Feels I'll really nice. The W in water might be just the way it's lit. Um, just. Well, actually, it's the A and take. We're missing that. Open mouth. Just, just, uh, and then start to get into your W a little sooner. R looks great. So yeah, it's getting into that W because I'm not really reading the W and I'm missing the I'll just take a water. I'll just take a water. The A and take. I'll just take I'll just she can come right out of that S T and take and, and just into the take. Okay. We have been Oh, one thing now this is just a matter of sub you know, it's kinda of subjective and I I, I I was just gonna let you I'm gonna give me my opinion on this to see what you think. I would have to see it to really know if if it works but I was thinking okay so if this girl's being interrupted by the waitress and she seems just not annoyed but just you know she kind of wants to work and that's the vibe that I was getting off this whole shot and she wants to get back to her computer and not be bothered with this waitress Take a water. okay we have Pellegrino so water I was thinking that you, if you, I wanted to see what it would look like to have her look down before the end of this shot. So let's see. I don't know if I can draw it all here. La -da -dee 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 -dee. I'm just drawing this for you. Now, this timing is probably going to be too fast. Let's see. I'm just take a peek. A water. Okay. Oops, where is it? Actually, maybe it's down already. So she's already looking back to her computer because she wants to get back to her computer. So you lead the cut, and I might have done this way too soon. <laughs> I'm all over the place now. <laughs> Come on, where's the end of this shot? One, two, three. Oh, there's like three more frames. Does that work? Water. Okay. Hmm. Obviously, mine's way too slow, but the idea is I'll just have water, and then she quickly. It actually has to be a blink, doesn't it? I'll just have water. Starts to, starts to look down. Blink, open, and then cut. Next shot. Anyway, it's worth a try exploring it because I think it would help read and and let you feel like you're getting into the uh, the next, you know, the next shot. So. Overall, this is a, uh, a fantastic piece of animation. I'm really happy for you. Congratulations again, Poppy. Um, I can see great things for you in the future, that's for sure. All right, take care, and good luck.